uh, like we were talking about the, the the couple of threes they hit to kind of build the gap there and kind of held it off is is you know it it started snowballing on you offensively it seemed just twenty seven percent after half. It was a competitive game. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we went up three and had a chance to stretch it a few times on three point shots early in the second half, and we we couldn't get them to go down. Uh, and you could say once they they were making their shots, nine of eleven from three. And when you make shots, you gain energy on defense. And when you miss shots, you lose energy. Mm-hmm. And I was a little disappointed in our in our body language when we were missing shots. Mm-hmm. As opposed to just go on to the next play, keep playing hard, enthusiastically, not intently, but enthusiastically. Mm-hmm. And and we we might have you know we would have fared a lot better. But they're a championship program, and I've said this now since all of last year that. That you know, Brandon Jefferson is—I mm-hmm. don't even think it's arguable that he's the best guard I've ever seen in this league. I mean, he's—he's he's just phenomenal under pressure. He's phenomenal uh, when there's no pressure. He, mm-hmm. you know, offensively and defensively, he sets the tone, and and uh, it's really been a pleasure to to watch mm-hmm. his career over the last four years. Even though four years ago he hit a shot like he hit tonight to give them a, a, a yeah. close close win when he was a freshman, so he. He yeah. entered it as a senior with one disappointing loss last year. Yeah, and, and I mean he's he's just been kind of a, a thorn in your side for a while. The the Armac Tourney Championship game last year, that shot. Yeah, the impossible the, baseline. Yeah, jumper, that yeah. impossible baseline jumper. Um, what makes not yeah, impossible what makes, for him? Yeah, what makes uh, him? That's a good question. I don't know. I just but he's he's got a great demeanor when he plays, good or bad. I I I, I really enjoy playing against him because he's a competitor and he's not a jerk, mm-hmm. and that's a great combination. And. Um, how much um, does uh, does it hurt the fourteen turnovers against just eleven assists on nineteen made field goals? It, well, the the sharing way, the ball was didn't seem quite well. We maybe what you want. I don't think we're getting a lot of you know assists. Maybe when we threw it inside, mm-hmm. and Alex was was, was yeah. uh, you know kind of one on oneing you know to get shots up. But the idea we you know we obviously we want to get the ball inside. I thought Alex was terrific. They were mm-hmm. an extremely physical team, and they ran a lot of bodies at him. And I, and I thought. Hey, by and large, with it's the best pressure we're going to play ever, and now we've got to learn from it and be ready for it. You know, against any other teams we play against. But if you look at their record this year, their point differential is crazy. I know they stretched it out against us tonight, but you know it was a very competitive game, and and I think you know we'll learn from it and get a lot better from it. Yeah, and and what do you take away from a game like this? Because I mean, they're uh, the last couple of years have been kind of the the gold standard atop the conference. I mean, what, what do you take away you know, from a game like this, uh, playing a team like that, as you go for the last half of the conference I, I feel that, you know, what you take away is I see a, that we can get a lot better, and which is a good thing. You know, I, I really do. I think our team can, can keep growing. And, uh, you know, again, we still have different roles for different folks. Uh, uh, you know, like Cody played extremely well when he was in the game, and I didn't play him in the second mm-hmm. half. It was just a, a matter of matchups. And, you know, we, we've got an, an intriguing team. I, you know, I think we have good depth. Mm-hmm. And I think we'll stay together. And, and this next road trip is going to be, you know, as tough a road trip as we have all year. No doubt about it. Yeah. And, um, you know, how difficult are they uh, matchup-wise? You, you said they're, that's some of the best pressure you'll face all year. Obviously, they're, they're really good, you know, they're, they're, guys they're, out there. Their matchups are tough, but yeah. I think our matchups for them are tough. Mm-hmm. You know, you know they, you know, with Alex inside, and and we have good inside outside, and I, you know, we, you know, Nick can drive it, and you know, mm-hmm. they 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 mix it up, and they do a lot of trapping, and I, you know, I thought we did a nice job against their pressure. We had a few mm-hmm. turn, unforced turnovers, but but in general, um, I thought we could have forced a few more turnovers, to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. And, and I thought at the end, in the last five minutes, they really hurt us on the boards. You know, there's a couple. You know, tippins we didn't get, and they had a couple times where they they got two or three shots, mm-hmm. you know, and finally made a layup that, that would have been big momentum plays, and it got the crowd more involved. So, yeah, uh, you know, t- all t- taking away everything is is I feel that we can learn more from this game than any game we've played so far, and we can you know really learn from it and get better from it. Absolutely.